breaking a bone from something as trivial as a sneeze. It can and does happen to mostly older adults with osteoporosis. Patients with osteoporosis, they can have a minor trauma. Maybe they sit down uh, vigorously on a sofa and they can uh, sustain a fracture to the to parts of the spine. Different than a high velocity break, frail, brittle bones don't require much force to hit their breaking point. Most times it's the back that takes the brunt in the form of a compression fracture. If you think of a um, maybe a, a piece of styrofoam um, and you just and you press down on it, uh, that's what happens to the bone. It's loss of integrity of the bone and that's what causes the fracture. The pain typically occurs near the break itself, most commonly near the waistline, mid-chest or lower back. People find it gets worse standing or sitting for long periods. They walk in, um, obvious pain, uh, obvious difficulty standing, obvious difficulty sitting, uh, even any, any small maneuvers such as walking, you can see the patients in significant pain. Age is a fueling force behind most compression fractures, but there's also a long list of diseases as well as medications that are known to increase risks. All reasons why it's important to monitor bone quality. We will order a bone density test to at least get a baseline quality of their bone and then commonly be able to start some type of treatment to improve the uh, the, the hardness of the bone or the density and hopefully prevent fractures. Cracking down on bone health is the best way to keep your spine strong. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.